Greetings, everyone, and thank you for watching. Passover began at sunset on Monday and continues until the evening of Tuesday, April 30th. Passover commemorates the Israelites' exodus from Egypt and their transition from slavery to freedom. The story of Passover is primarily found in the book of Exodus, particularly in chapters 12 through 14. According to the biblical account, God commanded Moses to tell the Israelites to mark the doorposts with the blood of a slaughtered lamb. This sign would cause the Spirit of God to pass over these homes during the final plague, the killing of the firstborn of every person in Egypt. This event prompted the Pharaoh to release the Israelites from bondage, leading to the dramatic escape from Egypt. The complete story about the Exodus and Moses as leading the Israelites through the Red Sea and receiving the Ten Commandments are legendary. The festival is deeply rooted in themes of redemption and freedom and has been observed by the Jewish people for thousands of years. It is one of the most sacred and widely celebrated holidays. What impresses me about this week is the depth of the history and memory that Passover invokes amongst the Jewish people. There are several traditions, storytelling, and songs that are practiced throughout the week designed to keep the memory alive from generation to generation. We would all do well to learn and to remember our history and how we became such a blessed and free nation. One way to do that is to remember that next week on Thursday is the National Day of Prayer in America. The rich tradition of praying for our nation has been going on since the founding days and has continued throughout the worst and the best of days in America. It has been a way to unite us as one nation from Reverend Robert Hunt, who prayed for America when they landed at Virginia Beach in 1607, to George Washington and the Continental Congress, Benjamin Franklin at the Constitutional Convention, Abraham Lincoln, and virtually every U.S. president since, the National Day of Prayer has been observed. So let's remember to do so next week on Thursday. I will be at the Cup of Joy from 11 to 2 p.m. if you are looking for a place to join. Drop in any time. For anyone who may be observing Passover this week, may you have a very happy Passover.